All right, so when you receive your um, 17 caliber BB band sets from Simple Shot, they're gonna come full length. And the reason we send them that way is so you can tune them to your preferred draw length and set them up the way you wanna shoot. So a couple ways we can do this here. So they're 10 inches. So this would accommodate a very long draw, up to a 50 inch draw. Most folks are not gonna draw that deeply to shoot BBs. A Couple of ways you can do this. One, you can attach it in the traditional over the top method, just as you would flat bins. And that's as simple as placing it on the slingshot and tying it in. We're not gonna go into that on this video. What we're gonna do is show you how to make loops on the end of it so you can shoot it on our Dead Ringer BB shooter. So this is pretty simple. First, you wanna determine your draw length. So if you have a 30 inch draw length, you wanna divide that by a factor of five. So that's gonna make your band set around six, six and a half inches long to get to the elongation that you're looking for. So I'm gonna reach for a ruler here. Right now we've got 10 inches of rubber on the bands, well about nine and a half. And we want six inches of active length. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna measure out what six inches would look like. So I've got six inches here. And I'm gonna mark that by just simply holding it. Then I'm gonna bring it around and I'm gonna make a loop at the base of it. Now you wanna make sure that you measure both the same. For demonstration purposes here, I'm just gonna make this quick. I'm gonna make this loop about an inch and a half. We'll take a look here, about an inch and a half there. So what I'm gonna do now is that you can do two things. You can have an assistant, but I'm gonna use my assistant here, the two clamps. So where I've got it marked, I'm simply gonna clamp it. Next, we'll take a strip of rubber. Now this can be a rubber band, it can be a piece of scrap latex, anything you like. You could even use string, but string tends to bind and dig into the rubber, it doesn't last quite as long. Next thing we're going to do is stretch this rubber out just a touch. So now, this is where I want my binding to be. I'm going to take the strip of rubber and simply wrap it around it a few times, pulling tight between the wraps. All right, I've got that wrapped a few times. Now all I'm going to do is tie a square knot. And it may help to use some lubricant like rubbing alcohol or spit just so the rubber slides a little easier so over under and under over and cut off your tag end now we have approximately six inches of working band we cut off this piece it's no longer needed and we'll do the exact same thing for the other side. And when we're complete, well, the band set that looks something like this. Then it's as simple as attaching it to any slingshot that has slots of just simply sliding it in on either side and shoot. Simple as that. 